Hello student, in the series of general anatomy lectures, we have just learned about a lecture on the skin, okay? After learning about the skin, now this is the time to learn the superficial fascia and the deep fascia. Now both superficial and deep fascia, they are situated deep to the skin. So we will learn first about the superficial fascia and then we'll learn about the deep well as i am referring the term superficial and deep fascia naturally the question must be arising in your mind what is the meaning of the fascia fascia means it is nothing but the collection of the connective tissue connective tissues are the tissues which are a special or the basic connective tissues of the body okay and this both the uh, superficial and deep fascia are formed by the connective tissue let us see this diagram which is here on the side this is a cross section of the limb here deep to the skin you are seeing the first layer is the superficial fascia and deep to it is the deep fascia which is a thin fibrous uh, membranous structure okay so this is the superficial fascia just beneath the skin and this is the deep fascia the muscles and bones okay are the deeper structure of our body are surrounded by superficial and the deep fascia which are nothing but the as i said are the connective tissue so what is superficial fascia since it is a connective tissue which connective tissues are responsible for formation of this superficial fascia the superficial fascia is made up of the loose areolar tissue as when you will go to the histology classes you will learn about the different kind of the connective tissue out of which one is the loose areolar connective tissue and in this loose connective tissue of superficial fascia lot of the fat cells are present that is the fat is present as you must have seen beneath the skin you can palpate the fat okay there is a lot of fat present in some certain regions of the body okay beneath the skin okay that is the fat present in the superficial fascia so superficial after superficial fascia this is a fibrous membrane just like the thin paper okay this is the paper like a paper which is inelastic in nature so this is made up of the dense irregular connective tissue which you will also learn what is a dense irregular connect at present just remember that the deep fascia is made up of the dense irregular connective tissue and here it is in the form of a thin membrane just like paper and this is inelastic in nature that means you cannot stretch it it will not expand because it is made up of the inelastic collagen fibers let's move to the next slide now first i will tell you uh, very briefly about the superficial fascia which is present just beneath the skin the superficial fascia is also sometime called as the subcutaneous tissue and why it is called as subcutaneous tissue because it is beneath the skin that's why it is called as subcutaneous tissue and it is located between skin and the deep fascia that means deep fascia is deep to the superficial fascia and as i have already described that it is made up of the loose connective tissue or loose areolar tissue and this loose areolar tissue or connective tissue are filled with the fat now this superficial fascia contains the cutaneous blood vessels nerves lymphatics and at certain places a group of the lymph node okay that you will learn very soon well, what is a group of the lymph node but these are the structures which are present now these structures that is the blood vessels and nerves why they are called as the cutaneous blood vessels and nerve the reason is that this blood vessel and nerve which are running in this loose connective tissue of superficial fascia they are ultimately coming from the deeper part of the body that means after piercing the deep fascia and then they are going towards the skin okay to supply the skin 
to supply this blood. So nose and blood vessels, they are, that's why uh, called as cutaneous nose and blood vessels, which you will dissect in the superficial fascia. Now, this superficial fascia is uh, present very well, okay, that means it is uh, containing lot of the loose connective tissue and the fatty fat, okay, at certain places, but at certain places, superficial fascia in body, it is upset, okay. Say for example, this uh, uh, superficial fascia is okay containing lot of the fat in the gluteal region okay it is in the gluteal region now this superficial fascia also contains the mammary gland in the pectoral region if you go to the in front of the chest uh, there are the mammary glands both in the male and female but they develop after puberty in the females to form uh, within the breast okay they develop within the breast right hmm? Now, at certain places, the superficial fascia may also contain the subcutaneous muscles. And what are subcutaneous? Again, beneath the skin. And these muscles are running in the superficial fascia layer and they are gaining attachment onto the undersurface of the dermis, which is the part of the skin. Okay, that's why these muscles which are present in superficial fascia and are attached to that of the under surface of the skin they are also called as subcutaneous muscle like subcutaneous blood vessels in the nerve okay example of these muscles you will learn later okay these are in neck there is a muscle called as platysma okay and then there are the muscle called as dartos muscle in the scrotum okay but you don't bother about these muscles because you know you just remember that there are some muscles okay which are present and run in the superficial fascia and they are attached to the under surface of the skin okay now the distribution of fat as i said is uh, in certain places in body okay within the superficial fascia is different different for male and different for females in males figure if you see the males feature okay the most of the males they will look bony that means their bony bones can be seen okay deep to the skin but if you will look a female at the female you will see that they have the rounded contour or the structure of the body there you know, parts of the body are smooth and rounded okay this is because of the deposition of fat in the superficial fascia of the female that's why they have uh, the rounded i mean to say body structures okay body structures means their limb and face okay is uh, is not as bony as it is seen okay in case of the male okay now fat is absent almost uh, at some places in superficial, not 100% absent, but it is most of the part, the fat is not there in super. Then what is there in the superficial fat here? Fat, as I have already told you, that the superficial fascia is made up of the loose connective tissue or loose area tissue is only present. Fat is absent at certain places. And these places in the body are the eyelids, the upper, especially the upper eyelid there are no fat or it's a very little or minimum fat is there then fat is not there in the ear see this ear lobule this is your ear and its skin is containing just deep to skin is thin layer of superficial fascia is there loose connective tissue is there but fat is not there similarly the fat is absent from the deep to the skin of the penis okay those superficial fascia is there but it is fat is not there okay so there are many places in body okay where the fat from the superficial fascia is uh, absent or it is in minimal quantity okay now superficial fascia helps blood vessels and now to pass as i said that when the blood vessels and nerves which are present in superficial fascia okay they just go okay uh, from deep uh, 
part of the body that is they pierce the deep fascia and then they run for some distance in superficial fascia and ultimately they go and supply the skin okay that's why they are subcutaneous okay uh, blood vessels and now okay they pass here the another function is of superficial fascia is there it is the site for the subcutaneous injection okay what why it is a site for subcutaneous means where the drug is injected in the superficial fascia and why this drug is injected subcutaneously here in superficial fascia the reason is that i have just told that lot many blood vessels they are running in the superficial fascia there are capillaries okay venules are there and all the rich blood supply to the superficial fascia helps in the absorption of the injected drugs right now our skin is mobile because of the superficial fascia okay let's see here okay now this is the dorsum of the hand okay this is the dorsum and you can pick the skin here see this you are holding this skin the fold of the skin and you can move and this is possible because it is uh, performing i mean say in this place the superficial fascia is uh, okay uh, providing the mobility to the skin that means the loose connective tissue with minimal fat which are present on the dorsum of the hand okay they are providing the mobility to the skin if there would have not been the superficial fascia or loose connective tissue deep to the skin it would have been difficult to move the skin okay move the skin now the another function of the superficial fascia is it act as a cushion that means there are some places in our body which are full of the fat say for example our gluteal region and when i say gluteal region you may not be knowing what is gluteal region it is the buttocks okay you are sitting uh, on the chair with uh, where there is a lot of fat is present on the buttock which act as a cushion okay now another function of the superficial fascia which is beneath the skin is it forms the insulating layer of the body and insulating layer means that there is a layer of the fat which is present beneath the skin and this is covering the body it is, this is covering a layer of the fat is covering the body and thus it is insulating our body from the loss of heat what it means what it means the loss of heat means now the fat which is present in superficial fascia is the bad conductor of heat okay it is bad that means it do not allow the body heat to go out of the body okay it doesn't allow and similarly it doesn't allow the cold okay to come inside the body so it act as a layer which is protecting us from the heat we do not allow the heat to go uh, out of the body and thus preserve the heat okay and similarly it also doesn't allow the coldness to come inside it is forming a layer okay it is forming a layer and the blood capillaries which are present in superficial fascia as when i was teaching you the skin i told you that these capillaries in the skin dermis of the skin they dilates during the when they dilate they dilates during the summer so that the heat of the body excessive heat of the body is lost okay? it is uh, transmitted to the external environment and just reverse was true for the winter season same thing is here in the superficial fascia also the temperature is controlled by the dilatation or the contraction of these capillaries bed okay capillaries now since superficial fascia is a uh, having lot of fat in it okay the superficial fascia is full of the fat hmm, in our body so this act as a storage of the energy okay so fat is storage means the fat is in the form of the inner fat contain lot of energy okay one gram of the fat gives us the nine calories of the energy right so those people who are fatty they contain lot of the 
uh, those who are containing lot of the fat that means there is a reserve of the energy is there okay lot of reserve of energy is there now this is in very brief about the superficial facial the layer of the fibro fatty tissue which we get just beneath the skin and superficial to that of the deep fascia now i will pass to the deep fascia